We're going to show you right now how to do the simplified version of the Automo Blocks wheel. You don't have a printout of the dimension drawings for this. You will need to follow the instructions right here. First, we're going to start out by making this basic outline of circles. So in Autodesk Inventor, we're going to start a new file, a standard.ipt part, hit create. We need to start a 2D sketch. And as usual, we're starting on the XY plane. Now, if you can see here, this is a series of four circles, all starting from the origin. What we're going to do is draw all of the circles, and then we will apply the dimensions. Okay? So, we start with just a rough approximation. We're going to do this circle. Then the next circle out. And these are what's called concentric circles, making sure to start on the origin point each time. If your circles do not wind up, you can use not wind up perfectly in the origin. We can use the concentric form right here. See how this already shared the same center point? So you can use this concentric tool to make sure they line up. So next we want to go and add our dimensions. So we're going to do the inner ones first. We know that these two, according to our dimensions, click once there and there, need to be 0 0.05 inches apart. And then we know, based on our other dimension, that we want the diameter of this circle to be 0.44 inches. Okay. Next, we're going to set this dimension. So this is 0 0.350 from the second circle to the third, and then another 0 0.05. So using the dimension tool, click second circle and then the third, and we want this to be 0 0.350. And finally, we want the distance from here to here to be 0 0.05 inches. So as you can see, this says fully constrained. We also know that we're fully constrained by having this blue, I think it's purple, outline. And that shows that the sketch is good to go. So the next step in the instructions is telling us to extrude both the outer and inner rings to this depth. So we're going to go finish our sketch, and then extrude, and you need to click both rings. Notice how it'll highlight what you're about to select, so be careful, because they're small, you may need to zoom in. I'm gonna start with the inner, just because it's gonna make it easy to do. Inner, then outer, and we want to change our distance to 0.57 inches, and say okay. The next feature that we're going to use is the project geometry. Now to do this, we need to make the wall. We're going to start a new 2D sketch right here on the face. We're going to use the project geometry button and click here as well as here. Notice that this made our previous sketch show up. So what it does is it takes the geometry, AKA the sketch that we did previously and brings it forward to the face that we're working on right now. Um, the benefit of this is that you can now use that to re-extrude. You can line up additional parts of your sketch to it if you need to, um, but it's transferring the sketches or transferring the geometry to your new sketch plane that you created, all right? So let's just look here. We've projected geometry. We're going to use a midplane extrusion. It gives us our distance of 0 0.05 inches. And notice that we need to include the area of the inner ring in the extrusion. If you can see the image right here, here's what all should be extruded. We want to extrude. Let's go back to our sketch. We're going to finish. We're going to extrude. We want to extrude this space as well as, and I'm going to rotate it because I should have clicked this first, this space. 
All right, so if you've got both of those, don't do anything. I'm just going to redo it and show you another way. We want to extrude that as well as that. Don't want to extrude the inner circle or the outer circle, but we'll do those two. We're going to do what's called a mid-plane extrusion. Basically, that is this one right here. It's a symmetric extrusion because it's going to extrude it in both directions at once. And we want our distance to be 0.05. Okay. So we're going to click OK. And there's our current wheel. Once again, we want to do the mid-plane extrusion because if you noticed, it extrudes towards the inside as well. All right, so the next step, if you look at it here, is going to tell us to create the face pattern. So we're going to sketch a closed loop to mimic the semicircular cutout. we got to sketch this circle right here. And it says to use the circle and trim tool loop. So let me show you how I do this. We're going to start a new sketch. We want to use a circle right here at the top. See where this intersection is and it snaps to it. It is going to be 0 0.250. Next thing that you want to do is use the arc. Start here. Look at how these X's appear at this intersection once again. Here and here. Now pull the arc up till it snaps into place. That center point and click there. Hit OK. And now we're going to trim this excess material off that we don't need. I'm sorry, I did not mean to hit finish sketch. Next, we want to do the circular pattern. So this is like the rectangular pattern we did before, but we're just going to do a circle. So we're going to select the geometry, aka the parts of the sketch we want to mirror. Now we choose the axis we want to mirror it along, right here in the middle. I tell it how many that I want. I want to do five, and we say OK. And now I'm going to finish my sketch. So now it's time to do our cut. So we're going to change our extrusion to a cut. All right, and what you're going to come in and do is now select each of these pattern sections. So we've changed from extrude to cut. I've selected one, two, three, four, and five. All right, we're going to hit OK. And there we go. There is our wheel. One thing actually that I note, let's go back and edit this. The diameter of this wheel should be 0 0.250. If you noticed, I have made this, the, the radius should be 0 0.250. I made the diameter 0 0.250. So what you wanna do is come in we're going to go right here, extrusion three. We're going to right click, edit sketch. This 0.25, we need to change that to 0.5. Notice how it automatically changes them all because it's circular pattern. Hit finish sketch and it updates our wheel. Now the wheel is finished. For one last little trick, if you'd like to do this, you can actually change the color and materials. This right here is the material change. Here is the color change. I'm just going to change the color. I'm not going to worry about the material. Why don't we go with a polished chrome look on the wheel? And now we have the Automoblox wheel.